This is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna speedrun this. Okay, I know, I know speedrunners get up there. Um, aren't they like... No, can't you just... Ugh, uh, no, um... Uh, don't they maybe do something with this thing? Right? Just kinda like come over here, and then... Oh, oh crap. Ugh, da damn it. Um, um, how the hell do you do this? Welcome to Hollow Knight Speedrun Tech, where I shall do my best to present and explain the gotta go fast techniques used by most speedrunners of the game. How do? I am Dr. Crotron, and today we will be checking out the Green Path skips. These skips are often the first major hurdle to learning a speedrun category for Hollow Knight, specifically categories without any major glitches. I will be covering the transition quick kill for the Balder guarding the entrance from the Forgotten Crossroads the first fireball skip that allows you to avoid the intended path just behind the balder, the fireball skip and squid skip that allows you a massive sequence break, the green path shack fireball skips and ledge skip, and finally, the moss knight quick kill. To accomplish this, I will demonstrate the technique in real time, then provide slow-mo footage with a detailed step-by-step -step explanation about how to pull off the tech. An input overlay will appear in the upper right of the video so you can see inputs as they happen. Some people prefer keyboard, some prefer controller. The overlay is designed to identify the action being performed rather than the button being pushed. This will accommodate for either style of play. Some final info before we get started. The tech presented here and the video footage use version 1.2.2.1 of the game. This is, arguably, the most popular patch for speedrunners. Some of these tricks may respond differently on different patches, or may not work at all. What is presented here is my approach based on my knowledge of popular techniques. It does not mean these are the best or only approaches. I will not be covering any tech involving major glitches. I did not discover any of these techniques. I don't know who to attribute these techniques to, but they deserve all of our thanks for discovering them. Please drop in the comments if you're aware of the source of any of these techniques. First up is the Elder Balder Quick Kill. As I understand it, we are basically firing off a Vengeful Soul so that it interacts with the Elder Balder's hitbox at the screen transition, resulting in the multiple hits and its untimely death. To do this trick, you first need to activate the balder by running toward it, then immediately turn right and jump over the small mound. I use the fence in the background as a visual cue to let me know when I have gone a good distance. When you're in the proper area, turn left and let loose a vengeful soul blast so that it clears just over the little mound. This trick will not work on the current patch. The first of several possible fireball skips in Green Path happens right after the Elder Balder. This trick takes advantage of the Vengeful Soul animation holding your vertical movement while pushing the knight about one of his body lengths in the opposite direction. Newtonian physics for the win. This technique relies on a very late jump off of the left of the platform, while continuing to press left during the jump. We are aiming for the knight's sprite to be situated between the two prominent stalactites in the foreground. When we get situated between them, we have our cue to immediately tap, not press, but tap, right. Fire off a vengeful soul using quick cast, and not focus, and then immediately hold left to get to the platform. The developers didn't plan on us being able to get to the platform on the upper left of this room and wanted us to chase Hornet into the bowels of Green Path. That's slow. So instead, we use the game mechanics to our advantage. The squit... Skeet? Squit? The, the squit skip is one of two ways to break the sequence in this room. We are coaxing the squit to fly to an area that we can easily downslash or pogo off of it to get to the platform. This trick can be somewhat frustrating, but knowing how to set the little fella up makes it fairly easy. First, we need to get the squit coming at us by jumping just enough toward it to get its attention. Once it's after us, we need to make our way to this platform and give it a few small jumps. We are trying to get the squit to target a specific area. 
When the squid charges and bonks, we can easily jump right to the platform, then jump left and pogo on the little dude's noggin. When it comes to Hollow Knight skips, few are as much of a staple as the fireball skip in this room. As we did in the prior room, we are taking advantage of our vertical movement being stalled while our horizontal movement continues thanks to the fireball animation. As was the case with the first fireball skip, we need to jump left on the platform excruciatingly close to the edge. When we have liftoff, our goal, at least for the way I set it up, is to find the absolute apex of our jump. When we arrive at the highest part of our jump, we need to tap, again, not press, tap, right and let a fireball loose using quick cast. A very important secret to this trick is to not mash the quick cast button. Instead, output the fireballs rhythmically. Once we have expended our fireballs, all that remains is to press left and touch down to break the sequence. This technique is successful using three, two, or even one fireball. Fewer fireballs means greater risk of failure, but more time saved. The ledge skip happens in the room containing one of the few vestiges of civilization in Green Path. This skip provides a surprising amount of time save if it's pulled off. The concept is fairly straightforward. Lure a husk off the leftmost edge of the highest platform, pogo off the husk as it falls, and bypass a whole loop of walking. The setup for this trick requires that the husk be close enough to the leftmost edge. If it is, simply jump straight up to get the husk's attention so it will jump off of the platform. The second your feet make contact with the ground, jump left into the wall and down slash. After the down slash, immediately press left and you're on your way. It can be the case that the husk is simply not where it needs to be to do this trick. If that happens, there is no alternative but to go the long way up. However, you can avoid this risk entirely by using yet another fireball skip. Conceptually, the third possible fireball skip in Green Path is identical to the second. We're going for a late jump with a quick turn and relying on the fireballs to push us just enough left to give us a landing. It's important to note that you will need the magic prior to attempting this, otherwise you're going to lose all the time you would save by gathering it. To pull this off, we need yet another bleeding edge jump leftwards from the platform. If the jump is not far enough, you will bonk on the platform above. Again, I like to look for the apex of my jump. Once the apex is achieved, tap, again do not press, but tap right and immediately tap your quick cast button. A quick left and we're home free. It is also possible to get this skip using three, two, or only one fireball. The Moss Knight quick kill is very straightforward. You need to get three vengeful souls and one nail hit to take it down. There are a couple versions of this. Striking with the nail, then using fireballs, or vice versa. In the nail first strat, we start by waking the Moss Knight up with a gentle swipe of our nail. The moment the Moss Knight jumps up, we hit him again with our nail. We then mash our quick cast and wait for the boom. In the nail last strat, we wake it up, fire our vengeful souls, then perform a jumping down slash toward the Moss Knight. This seems to fool the Moss Knight into thinking we're going for a straight or upward slash and thus its knees are vulnerable. This is an example of all the tech put together in one seamless run to show you how it can all work together. I hope you found this tutorial useful and that it will see you well on your journey through Hollow Nest. Thanks for watching.